see what we come up with today. Arena Cube is always cool. We did a, quite the fiery mono red deck last time. Let's see if we can do it again. we have here so we got scoot swarm scoot, scoot swarm is quite the unfair card could go with that either scoot swarm or thalia if we pick thalia we are going into an aggressive uh, white red deck i think very creature based um, she's quite strong we can either go Thalia or Scoot Swarm. There's also Blood Artist. It's a very dangerous card as well. Um, I think I might go with Thalia actually. Thalia is pretty unfair against control decks. It's between Thalia and Scoot Swarm. I'll go Thalia. I won't mind playing a Thalia. Now here's Heliod. Hmm. Yeah, it seems fine. There's a little sub theme of life gain. So I might dwell into that. So this is either Heliod or Magda. It's one of those two. Since I already have Thalia, Heliod seems like a good choice. The Immortal Sun also seems okay. It's more of a late pick. We're not getting Magda back, but we might have Birth of Miletis, which doesn't go as well with Thalia. But Kalos Blood Mage does. So. Oh man. Again, we have. Strong white picks here. We, we have Redain. Non creature spells your opponent cast cost f 4 or greater cost 2 more. So this plus Thalia is pretty obnoxious. There's al also Dauntless Bodyguard, which I love, and Lyra Dawnbringer. This is just a all round awesome card. I'm gonna go with Redain. Because Redain plus Thalia? Man! That shit is just straight up not fair. <laughs> Very anti controlish. Oh, nice. Bone Crusher. I'll take a Bone Crusher here. Like, if I have Thalia or something, I can always just play a 4 3 4, four 3 mana. There's also a Bright, bright Climb Pathway. I'm not so sure about Reese, but yeah, definitely taking the bomb pressure. Oh, oh man, there's Skyclave and Chandra. I do love Chandra, but more of the Skyclaves is more of what I want here. Is it though? This is pretty good. I'm gonna take Maul. I'm not sure I'm I'm red, but I'm. Oh man, Maul plus Adorned Pouncer. Definitely. There's a chance I might get this back. There's Lightning Strike. I'm gonna take a Dawn Pouncer over Lightning Strike because I picked more of the Skyclaves. Otherwise, I'll pick the Lightning Strike. Maybe Faithless Looting. I can always cy cycle Dimworthy. Cycling, it's not casting. So, Soul Scar Mage. Dragon's Guard Elite, not bad. Guess I'll take Team Worthy. Not, not so sure if I'll play it, but. Okay, so this is a nice flyer. Uh, there's also Ancestral Blade, but the flyer seems okay. Stops Graveyard Shenanigans. Mm, yeah, well, Experimental Frenzy. I kinda like it. 
so. Oh, bug that came back! Yeah. And Thundering Rebuke, so red seems open. Red seems. Oh, it's definitely open. Yeah, we're doing a Boros aggressive deck. Definitely. Again, we are going strong into those aggressive type decks. First picking Thalia kinda nudged me in that direction. <laughs> but I really think she's. She's a great card. Because delaying uh, an opponent a uh, planeswalker that costs four into uh, into his five drop can really be it's very hindering. Oh man, rampaging for Osadon, yeah. Oh yes, please, rampaging for Osadon, Thalia. Oh man, players can't gain life, and I have Iliad. Oh man, and Lightning Strike came back. No one's playing red. I think I'm the only uh, aggressive player in the in the table. Oh, now I have. <laughs> what am I gonna get back? Hopefully, either a Kabira Takedown or a Cliff Drop Retreat. Matter of the Mix is awesome, but Angel of Invention is pretty much my pretty much my finisher. I can fabricate, give my creatures plus one plus one. It's gonna be awesome. <coughs> this is pretty good as well, but. I kinda need this, and lots of decks are gonna want Angel of Invention. Oh, now we have tons of... Sp we are spoiled for choice here. We can go either for Selfless Savior, Giant Killer, Thraven Inspector. I really like Selfless Savior, by the way. Really do. Giant Killer is awesome as well. I might go with Giant Killer. I know I'll get something out of this pack. It's probably Thorben. Oh man, Selfless Savior is awesome. Thriven Inspector as well. I'm gonna take the Giant Killer. You know it. Oh. Dire, dire Fleet. I may exile an instant sorcery and cast. So it's snap casting my opponent stuff. But there's a Bone Splitter here. I'll probably get. Either uh, inspiring. Van I'm gonna get something good out of this pack, but I really, really like Bone Splitter, and that's what I'm taking. Now there's Demon Bolt, uh, Rimrock Knight, both cards I want. I think there's more chance of Rimrock Knight or Magmatic Chandler Wheeling. Oh no, there's Swords to Plowshares. <laughs> Never mind. There's the Swords to Plowshares here. Oh god damn it! There, there we go. Oh man, a sword. Are you fucking kidding me? I have a sword in the Royal Eruption. Oh man. Oh man. There we go. I'm not so, so I'm not sure I'm gonna play Heliod. <laughs> Grim Levamancer and a, a pathway. A non-color pathway. Let's take it Levamancer. Um it's between Siege Gang and the Light Up the Stage. I'm gonna take Light Up the Stage. Oh, I know I have Thalia, but Light Up the Stage is pretty great. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, this deck's shaping up to be quite good. I mean, most of the most of the decks in cube are gonna look awesome, but this one, you know... <laughs> For stars, an open color will deal damage to your permanent control. Prevent one. Whenever you are another opponent, you control. Let's play less control space one. This is very annoying. I love it. Like the deck's already made. If I play with this deck, I mean plus two cards, this is it. Like uh, this is on the maybe pile. You know, I like Heliod, but I'm not so sure that he's what I want. So he goes to the maybe pile. Uh, I can take either Grim Initiate, which is great with Bone Splitter, or uh, Venerable War Singer. This is pretty insane. If 
If only I had the dog. Because if I equip... Hmm. Oh man. Oh yeah, I took the War Singer. It's fine, I... I want to War Singer. Like, the initiated school. It's a one drop that drops another tiny dude, but... Cards like this, if they go unchecked... They can become quite, quite crazy, and my 3 drops are not that that high, like, I have 3 creatures now, 2 equipments, I don't need any more equipment, like, 3 equipments already a lot, I don't want any more, I don't want any more! My opponents are taking their sweet time. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, this was the pack that I th I said we were gonna get something back. There was also um, a Boros land here, but I really want Selfless Savior, especially with Venerable War Singer. We have a deck like this is already a pretty strong deck. Experimental Frenzy might be okay if we got a lot of one drops. Um, I do love Colgan's Command. Might I, I think I'll rather splash a Colgan's Command than... Am I splashing for anything? I don't, I don't think I am. I'm gonna take this, put it on the maybe pile. <laughs> Bomat Courier, perfect! <laughs> yeah, no one's getting aggressive. See, I, I pretty much prefer Bomat Courier to like the Grim Initiate. Mm. I don't like either of these. I guess I'll take the commit to memory. So if you built in the blast zone, I'll take the blast zone. I might play it. <laughs> there were some cards that I wanted to wheel. Oh man, okay, so Mikaias is kinda strong. With what we have, but Rekindling Phoenix, you guys know I love it. Sometimes it can be quite hard to deal with. Um, and it kind of fits nicely into the curve. I'm not so sure about its experimental friends. Mikaeus sure is nice though. Mikaeus plus Angel of Invention. It's okay. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather have the Phoenix. There's also Hoan. I'm not splashing for Will. So it's not that powerful. There's also Glorious Protector. I didn't pick the Siege Gang Commander, otherwise Glorious Protector would have been a contender here. Oh cool! <laughs> History of Banalia. And the Hizamaru? There's a History of Banalia, an Hizamaru and an Annex. I want all of those. I think I, I might pick just Izamaru. Like, turn 1 playing a 2 2, it's, it's big. I do love History of Penalia though. I mean, Bomite Courier wield. There's also this. Which is fine. Uh, do I pick the History of Penalia? It's better than the Venerable War Singer, maybe. Nah, this makes Venerable War Singer better. I'm gonna take his Amara. I got so many equipments. He's gonna be great. There's also heroic reinforcements. Young Pyromancer. Oh man, I'll seed. I'll seed in this deck. Oh man, we kinda need a Ranger of Eos now. Pillar of Flame? Man, <laughs> this pack's made for me. I don't know what to pick here. Generally, I don't. Kinda want I'll seed. For the same reason that, like, Gains me life, protects another thing, it's pretty good, like, I put him on the same pedestal as the dog. They're both awesome cards, but Young Pyromancer so many val so much value. Nah, I'd rather take this. I don't have that much instants or sorceries. <gasps> Ember Cleave and the Skyclave Apparition. Ember Cleave is one of those finishers that I really want. I think I'll take Experimental... Ah, uh, but Experimental Friends is so good with all these one drops. 
I'll take Embercleave. Like, Embercleave just wins games out of nowhere, literally nowhere. Now we have a Scorching Dragonfire of Phoenix of Ash. There's also Conclave Tribunal. Would I rather have Conclave Tribunal instead of the Scorching Dragonfire? There's Lightning Elix. What I really want is Lightning Elix, never mind. <laughs> oh man! Captain Lenary Storm, there we go. I got so much stuff to take. Don't get me wrong, Chandra is great. Uh, this is just not the type of deck that wants, wants that, that Chandra. Maybe another type of Chandra, not that one. So we are definitely not playing this. I mean, we do have all seeds, so Heliod is still a maybe. I don't think I'm playing Blast Zone. Oh man, there's so many stuff to cut. Selfless Savior is Maru. So Shadow of the Skull is pretty good. Again, because my curves so on the low side, it's probably better than a braid. I mean, I have a line tyrant, and I didn't pick a devil's play. That's a good two card combo. Maybe I don't have. Uh, I don't want this played against me. This can re really fuck me up. So this is the... Uh, do I want NX? NX awesome. It's probably better than Rodain. But Rodain protects me with against Wraths. Spike Field Hazard is pretty cool. I'm gonna take NX. Oh man, and now Grim, Lava Master and Pillar of Flame. Do I just take this? Because I already have a lot of 1 drops and removal. I'm spoiled for choice. <laughs> uh, I'll take fight with fire, but uh, probably not playing it. There we go. I'm playing 1 devil's play. Just because I have the dragon. So I might be able to generate an insane amount of mana. Might. I'm thinking about like, can I play 15 lands and only like one drops? Is that possible? Let me think about that. Like if I take like one, if I take out pretty much all my three drops, I mean, I do love Rampaging Ferocidon. Take one, two, Lenary Storm's awesome as well. God damn it. Like, I take out Iliad. This one, Lenary Storm, light up the stage. I'm not so sure about light up the stage, but I do like it. Leyline Tyrant. Even Angel of Invention. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Still not enough. Let me see how this goes like this. It's 43. If I go 15, I need to cut one of my 4 drops. Which is probably Rekindling Phoenix. It's like 7, 7, 14, 15. So 15 lands with 9 1 drops, 8 2 drops, 6 3 drops. Doesn't seem all that far fetched. Really doesn't. Seems decent. So I have two enchantments. So this is um, eleven and creatures. So this hurts me. Oh man! But I do have 
one of these colors. Oh! So if I have one of these... What do I get? I have three good equipments. So looks like Annex might be pretty good. Um, um, I have so many great cards. So this is 16 lands. Oh man, I'm gonna go with this. Because I have one Bone Splitter, one Mauler, and one Sword of Body and Mind. I'm not so Remorseful Cleric and Viashino are kinda weak sauce. I guess I could like take one out for a Kindling Phoenix or the Tyrant. Cause if I get the Tyrant in, I'll take something like... Lander Storm and Tyrant seem like they're fine. So Rampaging for Ocedon and Annex don't seem like the best synergy. It's either the Tyrant or Rekindle. The Tyrant's nice because if he goes and check for like two turns, like start amount, it's gonna start to amount to a, a big bomb. Like when he dies, mana just explodes. Devil's Play can go to the face, so that's always nice. And it has flashback. Even if it's costly, and I'm playing 16 lands. Oh man, this is 15 lands actually. Yeah, I'm missing one land. What happened? Do I have another double one? No, I don't. I actually want one, one more, one more planes. I could take out Experimental Frenzy, but this type of deck is gonna love Experimental Frenzy. Guess I can take Remorseful Cleric out. But like Remorseful Cleric plus Bone Splitters, f turn three, four in the air, having flying, it's always nice. But is he better than Vyashino? Vyashino like deals damage right away. I guess I can cut one. Or one of my one drops. I do love my one drops. Probably Grim Lava Master. But Grim Lava Master is annoying. But it's the one that kinda doesn't want to be equipped. Okay, so this seems fine. Let's see how it goes. I might change my mind and go with... I'm not putting Devil's Play. Yeah, let's see how it goes. One of my... One of the... Cards that I really want to draw is definitely Amber Cleave. If I draw into Amber Cleave, it's gonna be awesome because I have a lot of one drops, uh, some cards with haste, so it's gonna work fine. And once it's on the board, it's just three to equip and give double strike to anything. I don't have any late game bombs, like I cut out Angel of Invention, uh, the only big creature I have, it's the Leyline Tyrant. So with this type of hand, I think I want to go with Giant Killer, Magda and Lannery Storm, because Magda plus Lannery Storm is pretty nice. And I kind of just want to get this guy out there. So now I might change my mind. I might want to kill something on turn 2, then turn 3 just play the Giant. Oh man. So he's ramping. Um, I put the Piacino or Magda. 
I think I play Mag. Oh, oh, this is an easy play actually. Because I'm gonna play Magda, then next turn play Captain Lannery Storm, attack with both Magda, Giant Killer, and Lannery Storm, kill something with the Bone Pressure, which is gonna be. Oh no, he's gonna put a counter on himself, right? So it's not gonna work the way I want to. But I can tap him. Uh oh. So that's how it's gonna be. You pig. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll still attack with Plenary Storm. Because if he wants, he blocks, we trade. Because, like, he has two cards in hand. That can tap his biggest creature. Oh man. Oh boy. Um. Do I go for the giant? The bone crusher giant. If he blocked and uses a pump spell, I think I'm. I'm just gonna kill him. Because he's ramping for something. Oh. Sword of Body and Mind's gonna be great. Because you know, protection from green and he only played. Oh, he's, spl he's splashing for white. Not splashing, apparently. Really legit playing white. Um, destroy attack with artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Guess I'm not playing Leyline Tyrant or Sword of Body and Mind by that matter. So I can g deal 2 damage to that. But I think I'll rather just play Bone Crusher. Not attack. No point in trading here. The wilds are my it's gonna be annoying. So, next turn I can just uh, attack with both on Vivian and go for Amber Cleave, but I, I lose my giant killer. I don't need to do that. I can actually... It's five... I'm gonna kill... Kill her. Because now he has nothing. Like, he... He can draw with Arch of Forzaka. Not bad. Or Ar or or Arska. <laughs> I can't say that name. Oraska. Arch of Oraska. I can block, but I really don't want to. Like let him have his token. Oh. The Dryad. It's gonna be a quick match hopefully. If I can like Whip, he has trample. Ten cards milled, another ten. Yeah, you're you're in a bad place, dude. So this, <laughs> having both of these equipments, <laughs> that's just nasty. <laughs> Bone crushing with a sword and an ember cleave, like giants just holding two of the best swords there is. I'm not so sure if this is one of the best swords there is, but <laughs> it's pretty good. There's also better swords. Uh, with double protection. Oh no, he's gonna mill what? He's gonna deal with what? The Amber Cleave. Can double block this. I don't mind trading a token. So I still have protection. So if 
If I play this... It doesn't have haste. Hopefully I just win next turn. Cause like, even if he kills the... I mean, if he exiles it, it, it's different. But if he kills Leyline Tyrant, I'll deal 2 damage, then play the, the Viashino Pyromancer and win. That's my whole plan here. I, I don't even need to attack with Bone Pressure. There we go. Cause he needed either to kill the Tyrant, and if, if, he, kill, if he effectively killed him, uh, I would've won. There we go. Oh man, this is gonna be sweet. That double equipment on Bone Crusher Giant was was killer. Old nerd. There we go. Turn one is a Maru. Turn two Lightning Strike. Turn three Lenary Storm. Then Rapaging Ferocidon to make sure he doesn't win life back. This card's pretty good. Like. You pay. You are paying three for a three-three with menace. That's already great stats. Then players can't gain life. Usually don't mind this too much, but it's awesome when you're aggressive. And then, <laughs> whenever a creature enters the battlefield, he deals one damage to the creature's controller. It's a double-edged sword, but I mean, usually when you play this. You're into a very aggressive game plan. Oh, Terramander. So, turn one plays. Looks like I really am going to lightning strike something. Terramander can become scary. Depends on what he's doing, but... Not comfortable with him having this around. I do love the art for this card. I'll block it! Oh, cool. This is kinda risky, cause you can draw into... like a counter spell. But it's it's a way better to play this, this way. Cause if he plays... Uh, a card that's more troublesome than Terramander, or if he tries to boost Terramander in some capacity. Yeah, see, I'd rather kill the Spite Dragon. I'm actually gonna play the Bone Crusher. Just more damage on the table, because next turn I can still play Lenary Storm and Lightning Strike something. Even before blocking blocks are declared. Because she has haste. Oh no! Leva coiling my Bone Crusher. Oh cool. <laughs> Is she gonna get countered? I kinda don't mind, like, there are worse things that he can counter. Yeah, that's fine. How many? So this is 8 minus 2. So it's 6. He's not quite there yet. I'm gonna play this and see what he does. If he goes for the adept, I'll lightning strike it. This thing is 
a bit annoying. But the Ferocidon has menace. I'm really hoping for just land adapt. He's not attacking with bo He is? That's fine. You're not gonna win that race, boy. Uh oh, maybe he is. Uh oh. Well, I'm gonna kill Terramancer already. Yashino can kill uh, Sarkhan. Oh. And then I get in for 3, I take 4 next turn. <clears throat> it's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. But I might win. Oh no, one top? Then I'm probably dead then. It just needs two more damage and I'm dead. Like... He's cracked to the top, so... He didn't kill... Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. That one was quite obvious, like... He needed something to kill me that turn. But <laughs> I thought that he had scryed for the shield breaker and then didn't <laughs> use the adventure. Even if he played shield breaker, I think I could have won. So I would hit him for 8. Maybe not. 8, 9, 10. I would hit him for 10. Kinda needed to see what I will draw. Oh, this is a great hand. Oh man, I love this. I really do. I'm just gonna play turn 2 Adorn Pouncer and equip. And then just see where we go from there. <laughs> I could also just hit for 3 here, but Adorn Pouncer has double strike. So if he doesn't play a creature right now, he might suffer. Even if he does, like... He needs to block, otherwise it's... Oh, what? Valky! Yeah, he needs to take Bone Splitter out of my hand. Like, for real. Oh, no! Not what I would have done. You can't, like... The mirror can't deal well with art against artifacts. So I could have I could attack here with Bowmet and uh, yeah I'm not going to I'm just gonna go like this. Like what's he gonna do? Pay three to transfer into a three three. That's pretty bad. If he does that, I'll just you know experimental frenzy. Like if this resolves, th this is a great card in my deck. They have such a low curve. Oh yeah, he did it. That that's not what you want to be doing. But that's fine. Oh, and he's attacking. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because he has a vigilance. Because he has nothing to fetch. Oh, it's a shame. Yeah, what you gonna do? Like block? You're in the danger zone now, man. Welcome to the danger zone. Wish I had... Uh, is he gonna gain life? Yeah. Gaining life... It's bad for me. Oh, that's why he wanted the Venerable Warsinger. Because he was gonna mill himself. I'll take another three. So, let's play this.
play this. Play this as a land, probably. I'll play it as a land. He can kill my cat, but I kill both of his creatures. This doesn't work because it the first damage is first strike. If he doesn't have a board wipe, shit's gonna get ugly. I mean Valky was a good choice on that second turn. Do I block here? I feel like I must. I'm gonna go throw cards into the trash. Magda's pretty good. I'm gonna do it like this. It doesn't have like one drops, so I'm fine. But if two damage uh, went through. Oh god, Eternal Dawn. He didn't sacrifice anything. Oh, cool. <laughs> Just gonna... So if I attack him... With both... Oh no! Kinda screwed up here. Um... Uh, I did and I didn't. But this is an okay trade for me. Yeah, this is fine. I think I'm still in a great position to win this. So I sacrifice a creature. Yeah. So I had a number of plays that I could do there. Like lightning helixing the bond to and just attacking with a cat. Anything would have put me into a, a great position, I think. He should have taken out of my hand either like either experimental frenzy or the or the equipment. Either bone splitter or experimental frenzy. He really fucked himself up, like that was a bad choice. Cause War Singer, like yeah, I, I return my bowmat courier sometimes. He just thought about the way I was I was gonna curve. But yeah, I, I don't mind curving it to a bone splitter on a drone pouncer. That was already my plan. <laughs> this deck's quite nice. Like it's a an aggressive Boros deck that focus on having equipment. But there are no like equipment synergies. See, like. This is so cool. I can either go for a Mall of the Skyclaves on Alcide, and that's awesome by itself. Or I can just play Vulnerable Warsinger and then equip him with Maul. Which is also pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna save Giant Killer. Because he might be playing some big dudes. Oh, <laughs> this was awesome. I'm gonna kill him right away and get in for one. Vigilance trample, first strike and flying.
Uh oh. Is he gonna kill my... <laughs> He's going to. <laughs> Unfortunate, but that's life. And death. Um... So, I wasn't expecting uh, such aggressive plays. So what I'm gonna do is just play the bomb first. I'm going to offer a trade. So, I need to play this as a land. I'm going to attack. Play my War Singer. I could have played Maul. But I really want to, like, equip Maul into Venerable War Singer, get back all seed. And even if he kills Bone Crusher, which I doubt it. Probably wants to kill the War Singer, but if he somehow kills the Bone Crusher, and I get to equip, I'll get Bone Crusher back. Now, do I, do I take the trade here? I don't think I do. I don't mind trading for the Bone Crusher, but here I, I'll just take two, which is bad because he's ramping. I might need two Bone Crusher. Yeah, Giant Killer actually. If I do Adventure Giant Killer, like shop down. I can still shop down in this Amaru, so it's not a bad turn for me. If he plays a big dude, I kill him, play his Amaru, get back, I'll seed. He has something. Just wondering what it is. Oh, it's a pest. That's fine. I don't mind pests. I might... Do I attack with Bone Crusher here? Cause I don't think I do. I mean, I... I can attack with Bone Crusher and get him back, so... Although I kinda think I wanna get the all seed. Oh, he has first strike, so I do get all seed first. I can give him protection from green now. <laughs> do I do it? I think I will. <laughs> My mana becomes so so efficient that way. And now I'll trade Izamaru for Captain Lenary Storm. Cause he might have something like a grand finale. And I still have mana to play Amber Cleave on Venerable War Singer. Then he, he hits twice because of double strike and I get back Izamaru and I'll see. And I still have mana to use all seeds ability. Oh man. <laughs> Let's see what he has. Again this giant killer is going nowhere. I'm really afraid of big a big spell. Because, you know, he is playing Cultivate Lenary Storm. Primal Command, there we go. Let's see what he gets. The 7 life, it's the worst thing, because we're trying to kill him fast. So it's the ape. Ape's not gonna do much, because if he tries to fight, we'll just give... Give our dudes... Protection. If 
I equip this here? Yeah, I still go for Ember Cleave on Venerable War Singer, I think. So I can either like giant kill him when he attacks or something. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's fine. He's gonna use all his mana. I'm just gonna kill him. This is GG. Like pretty hard GG. He got oh and the swords to plowshare. He's got he got completely shut down. He had like no chance of winning this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Let's keep moving on. We got to wrap wrap this this thing up. God damn it, I, I'm stuttering today. I gotta go back to work tomorrow, after a week-long vacation. I'm not looking forward to it. I think I wanna go with all seeds of life bounty, cause I'll just play him, then bomb at courier equip, equip him. I hit for 4 on turn 2. If he doesn't have a turn 1 play, this is gonna be awesome. Even if he does, if it's like a line of war, I might still wanna go for a trade. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Unfortunate. Oh, I can't equip and play Bowman. Just realized that. I can do something like this. Bowman Courier is gonna be an MVP because I'm gonna empty my hand pretty fast. So I can mark the. Attack. It's almost this like it's the same amount of damage. Equipping Maul or equipping Bone Splitter. That's how good Bone Splitter is, by the way. Magda's probably gonna die. Like, what do I wanna save? It's a big question. Because I need to have this red mana open so that I can sack Bomet Career and get like my three cards. Man, he, he's got to block, like, there's no question here. Like, Skittering Servier al already did his thing. His whole thing is fetch a land and then just die. This is like the best he could hope for. I don't mind, like, if he goes for a kill on Bomet Career, I'll just chug a giant killer out in for three cards. That seems like a fair trade off. This is only gonna get worse, so. Can't even see, like, the equipments. But he needs to deal with Bomet Career. Somehow. Nothing. Okay. So is he gonna kill him on my upkeep? After I draw. Yeah, I'll I'll do this, yeah. I 
Because, I, I, like, I drool and... Oh, cool. Um, what do I want to do? Because <laughs> I still have a red mana. Uh, so I want to play Lannery Storm. Just equip. Hit for 4. I can hit for 5, but there's n not much merit in doing so. Great draw, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Bomet Career. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm really liking playing with 15 lands <laughs> and one glacier. <clears throat> That's probably a demon bolt. So I'm not going to, gonna try to equip. Equip her. I can equip. Rampaging for us Because he's only gonna kill Lannery Storm if we sack a treasure. So I might as well just sack a treasure to equip. Now we are kind of in the tank. This is dangerous for us. Like, we're playing against a control deck that's probably gonna draw into some kind of way to deal with our Rampagic Frostodon. Like, he deals with this, we have nothing. And he has the, the upper hand. Because he already is at, at the place he, he wants to be, and he's alive. If he, if he plays memory, that's gonna be great for us. I doubt that he is gonna do it, because he just dies. But he, he definitely must have some kind of removal spell, or even like the Gear Hulk to replay Poison the Cup. I can imagine something like that. Oh, well. Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, he's drawing, okay. Because if he turns him into a 0-2, He's still gonna have 4 power. Yeah, this one works though. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass. I do have stuff with Ace. Not a lot. But some stuff. <laughs> you need to slow down. Let's talk. It's gonna be annoying. Oh, the ball? Is he going to exile one of my equipments? So my I'm curious to see if he does that. I think I will. Like, but the bones are the one. Oh, nice. So, I'm gonna go to the face. Because I can draw into just a lightning strike or a lightning helix. And then win the game. If he uses his whole turn to uh, just flash this back, I'm fine. That you doesn't to work, but yeah, he needs to... Oh, he took out my Embercleave? Hey. I kinda don't need Embercleave, so that's fine. He has two of my equipments. I don't understand these playlists. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can we 
Miners are dead. I need to draw a lightning illis, not lightning strike, something that has lightning in its name. It's gonna work. So I'm gonna play this tab. Because Leyline Tyrant might do it. Oh no, it's exiled. Oh my bone splitter! Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna play Leyline Tyrant now. Now let's put you on peace. Oh no! This is so dangerous. <laughs> Pretty fucking dangerous. Oh man! <laughs> That's just nasty. <laughs> I love it, you pig. <laughs> nice one. My bone splitter. Not gonna wait until I draw. Uh... I need to put this on full control. Oh no, my bone crusher giant! That could have won me the game. Cause like he needs to kill my Leyline Tyrant, but if I had Bone Crusher Giant in hand, that's two plus one. So it would have been lethal. Come on man. Damage can't be prevented and he's going to double the damage, so it's going to quadruple. That's a lot of them. Is this for everyone? No, you control. Okay. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I'm not going to survive this, am I? Oh no. Gonna kill one of the young pyromancers, but uh... gonna kill the young pyromancer. I had a lot of draws that I could have that won me the game, but I wasn't that lucky. So I'm already dead. He just needs to attack. Because every everything was double damage, and he, he and he has my equipments if he needs to. <laughs> no point in dragging it out. That's what I was talking about. Like I couldn't finish him. He was already in a point where he wanted to be. He drew the removal he needed, and I didn't draw the finishers I needed. Because like a good draw would have been like experimental frenzy, lightning elix, lightning bolt. Not the lightning bolt, the bolt lightning, <laughs> the other one. Bolt lightning? No. What's the one I have? Well, I don't recall. Oh man, Thali would have been awesome, awesome against him. Against my last opponent. I think I'm gonna play the shelter tapped. Lots of great stuff. Thali is gonna make my my equipment a tiny bit more expensive. But seems good I guess for all. <laughs> no. Indeed. 
I don't mind him trading both for Lenary Storm. Although I don't want to. I don't want him to do that. I don't mind because I do have swords to plowshares. So getting rid of the storm caller, it's not that bad. If he thinks he's gonna race me, he needs something like Spite Dragon. Otherwise that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna equip the Lenary Storm because this already has first strike. There we go. Scorching Dragonfire on the, on Thalia. So now I can do like Sword of Body and Mind and equip. I'm not sure. Like if he has Counter Spell, that's gonna be bad. But I can like bait the Counter Spell. I think I'm gonna do that. Like if he he can sack this. I was actually hoping that he would use like a real counter spell. Oh man, he has another one. Oh no, it's a lightning bolt. Okay. I was always fucked then. Oh man, it's not great. But I can deal with. Oops. Uh, that was a mistake. Can deal with some big stuff. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna give you what you want because you wanna draw a card, right? Have your card. I'll rather do it like this. It's better than just play Bone Crush and let him double block. He's gonna draw a card either boy. Unless I swords. Wow, shares. Um, so I can equip and attack. Some kind flying. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and play Sword of Body and Mind. Like, if this resolves, it's gonna be huge. He needs to have some kind of removal. Oh, he doesn't? Nice. So, <laughs> I'm going all out now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let me see what you have. Oh, the Scarab God. That would have been nice. Pact of Negation. Mythos! On my sword! You bastard. Question is, is he going to attack? Probably is, right? Electrolyze. Right. 13, 27. You're not gonna win this, boy. He's thinking about not attacking. He needs to attack. This has protection from green, so I can attack through. Um, I still don't kill him like lightning strike and maul this turn, so I just need to survive another turn. Oh man, Ulamog! Hopefully he doesn't have a reanimator. The Tyrant. Tyrant doesn't work because he's gonna get exiled. So we know every card he has. I'm actually gonna let him do it, yeah. Because it doesn't have haste.
<laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Kind of block. There's no trample. And I'm going to swap the plowshares. And we win. <laughs> Multiple ways of winning this round again. <laughs> Just shows us the strength of our deck. When it works, it works. <laughs> for wins let's keep it going i need to wrap this up in about 15 minutes so we are speed running this shit <clears throat> Do -do -do. rather against chimicore come on there jimmy Tell me what you got. Quite a nice hand, like Grim Levamancer, then Magda, then probably Helixing or Swarthing Sword to Plowshares, something. Come on, what's happening? Game just froze. I really wish um, to draw into experimental friends. No such luck, apparently. If there's no removal, I'm also okay with that. I should have played the planes instead of the mountain, but I doubt that I'm gonna need to use both. <laughs> it's gonna be quite the quite challenging for me to need to use both. So I'm playing I guess a mono blue. Mono blue deck. Dude probably wants to counter something. I'm gonna give him something to counter. You wanna counter my bone splitter? No, nope, that's fine. Put him on Grim Live MS, which is weird, but again, it's to any target. Brainstorming, okay. Shouldn't you have brainstormed before I'm playing Bone Splitter? Probably want something like Brazen Borrower. Brazen Borrower works. But I think he should have brainstormed before. Well, what do I know? I don't know his deck. Card looks pretty nice. <laughs> Why can't I view the printed card? <laughs> I have 100% certain T that he's playing. He's playing green crab for real. There's no way he's not playing it. I'm gonna play the Adorned Pulsar. If he wants, he can counter my Adorned Pulsar. I'll, I'll eternalize him later. Let's go for an attack. We have a ton of treasures. If he takes 5 here, that's a lot. Well, before ending my turn, I'm actually gonna do this. Because now the Don't Pouncer is lethal. And I have two very good removal spells. Man, why not, like. Whatever. Why didn't he, like, block my Magda? Or Grim Lavamancer? What was he waiting for? So, 
I'm going through Lightning Elix the Shark. If he wants, he can counter. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm still gonna Swords to Plowshare. No. Because I, really, I, I just want to win next turn. This is awesome, that's fine. Now I have two cards in my graveyard. Oh man! Okay, I just win. <laughs> this was just unfair. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, he's playing a control deck against uh, an aggressive Boros deck. It's not gonna go well for him. But we played the Demir control deck then, that could, you know, manage to win, so... Everything can happen. He, he got way greedy, like, why didn't he just cycled and blocked Magda or Grim Levamancer right then? I think that was dumb of him. Or... No, because he had disallow. So... I think... He thought that I was baiting something else, but I really wasn't. <laughs> I didn't have like a Chandra Planeswalker. Or Experimental Frenzy. I, I was just playing the cards. Because they're all so cheap. That he must have thought like... No man, he, he needs to have something better. But I didn't. The whole deck, it's equipments and cheap creatures. Man, turn one bombite carrier feels good, but I'm on the play. I'm on, I'm on the draw, so not as good. I'm still gonna play him, but obviously. Oh, the experimental frenzy. This card's pretty great. Next turn, Mall of the Sky Cliffs. Or just Venerable Warsinger. Let's see where this goes. Oh man, Critical and Giant. That's a doozy. Does he have Vigilance? Uh... I'm just gonna go for the mole. I'm gonna mole you to death. <laughs> oh no! Huh? Why didn't he mutate it? This, this is like the perfect mute. They target. That was so weird, man. Um, that's fine, I guess. What I'm gonna do is just. Clearly, he wants to race. Is he gonna mutate the gem razor with another thing? I don't really think there's a lot of mutating targets around. So what I'm gonna do is just play the all seeds bounty. Play this and equip Bomat Career. Oh, it's because he has a uh, reach. I still would have, like. Why? Why? It's way more risky this way. He should have just like have a big creature. Because eventually this will get rich and trample. Just a matter of time. This is a really good creature by the way. Yeah it does have reach, but like 
So what? I, I could like kill him or you know remove him from the game. It's so weird. I don't know. I, I think I. I'm gonna give him protection from green. And and I wouldn't kill the bombat career. I would have killed the mall of the skyclaves. I would have left the bombat career alone. Cause like bombat career has flying because of mall of the skyclaves. So is this a not yet. Um so yeah I'm gonna play this. Hashmi might become annoying. Not gonna make a difference if I equip or not, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Because the question becomes do I just want to discard the Experimental Frenzy and the Ashino for 5 cards? The Experimental Frenzy, the upside of Experimental Frenzy is great. Also, if he presents a trade. Do I take it? Oh no! That's Manus? Yeah, that has Manus. And Life Link, yeah, I'm gonna die. I can, I can... I can jump block. Or I can just... I'm actually not blocking. I don't mind 10 cards in my graveyard. Not that bad. <laughs> so... I'm gonna play this and the Pyromancer. I'm just gonna pass. Oh man! Oh no, the mana must be pa paid like that. I screwed up actually. It's so hard to like... Maybe I should have attacked with Bomat Courier. I fucking screwed up. Why do I want this mana up? Doesn't make sense. I really wanted the red mana up. Because now he can kill Bomat Courier and I don't... Don't get to sack him. Oh man, this is <laughs> if this gets first strike it's it's game over. I think it's the first strike plus one plus one. Flying yeah, flying also becomes problematic. I <sighs> what do I have to deal with that? Like Swords of Plowshares on the graveyard. I can always draw like a... What did he get? X-proof? Oh man. Hot sauce challenge, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do uh, some crazy blocks here. Uh, actually, I'm gonna block with a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, so, four, five, six. I feel like I really need to try hard for this one. I'm just gonna go all out. Oh, he has Death Touch, so this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Just gonna do it like this. Like, if he has a trick, then probably gonna die. Just game over if he has any sorts of removal. Okay, he doesn't. 
I'm really glad I I didn't play it safe then. He's at 18. <laughs> Easy. God damn it. Luckily, I'm not playing uh, blue or green. Tesseract. It's gonna make Thopters flying. Do you really think I you think. can keep up with me? I made you. So I'm gonna kill the Thopter. Seems cool. I still don't gonna leave Tezzeret in the tech. Tech him. So now I can return like either Leyline Tyrant or um, depending on how he blocks, I can return the Pyromancer in deal 2 to Tezzeret. I'm gonna get my Leyline Tyrant back. And... I equip him. Probably do. I kinda wanna discard Experimental Frenzy. To the Bomet career, but <laughs> it's gonna be a pain in the ass to re-equip the <laughs> the mace. Okay, another thopter token. I only have 10 cards in my library. There we go! I mean, he still draws it, so... He shouldn't be celebrating. Oh man, Garrick! Civilization sickens me. I think that I need to go after his life total now. And just jump block the sword. Yeah, that that might be the play. What? Buckle under our might. For real? Is he going to attack me? Like Rashmi is awesome. Oh, nice. Hmm. I'm gonna go after his life total. Why is he getting priority? Oh, he's... No, this is... Does he have a Pact of Negation? I'm thinking if I can die next turn. I don't think I can. He keeps trample, but. What's happening? So 
So now I kill him. What? This fucker waste. God damn it. I need to full control and I'm playing with Leyline Tyrant. I'm gonna play. Because it, it, it used the both of my red. I'm just gonna pass. So. And. End of his turn, I'm gonna deal 2 damage to him. I'll just jump block whatever I can. Try to kill him. Uh, that's a good card, but... I think you're dead. Because you decided to mill 10 cards. This was not a smart play, I think. Should have like see what people draw. Out of our way. That seven, I can even take it. No, I can't. Oh man, I can't take it. This I'm gonna win on my draw step. Why can't I read it? Okay. Yeah, this is fine. I really need this to fucking f give me full control. Otherwise I'm dead. I have a stop and I have full control. I'm gonna block just because, it doesn't make a difference. But Grim Lava Mancer is just the MVP. I can actually win two w in two ways now. <laughs> Did he thought he was gonna win? <laughs> Cause I think Bomet Courier had Lightning Elix uh, underneath him, so I could sack Bomet Courier to find some some ways to win. So this is six wins. Let's keep going. Last match now. I like this deck. This deck's okay. It's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Dawn Pouncer turn 2 instead of Thalia. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm playing. I'm playing. I shouldn't have opened like this actually. But I think I'm gonna need all the mana that I can get my hands on, so. Oh! Nah, I'm still gonna go like this. What is four spike on the card pool? I don't think it is. That's a weird cat. Oh, cool. Yeah, let me attack you at will. It's gonna be awesome. Hopefully he plays something that I can lightning elix. There we go. Oh, better yet. I'm kind of screwed for mana. But you know there are it's fine. Like if I draw a land, I probably win the game. Let's see. Oh no, now I don't. 
I really don't win the game. Actually, I would win the game if I had drawn the land. Sucks to be me. Because this is green. If he double blocks, he fucks up my... My cat, but loses the tokens. Can also sack bomb at courier. That seems like a waste. Well, I'm just going to attack with the torn pouncer. See what he does. Just one's fine. I'll lightning strike one of them. <laughs> Cause now he doesn't have tokens to crew. You know, to copy when he attacks. Hopefully. Like, oh, okay. Bet you've never been hugged by a kraken before. If he plays another blue creature, oh, man, I really wish he would have played. He would have blocked with Alirius. Even Barber on the other bouncer. So he probably. Oh, it's fully offensive. He's starting to suck real, real bad. Not being able to draw into my third land is putting a hindrance on my plans. I do have a lot of plans. 15 of them. 16 actually. 16 lands. We were bound to be mana screwed at some point. Like he, he doesn't have a lot of cards, so I might still win. Oh, he's going to return him to the top of my deck or to my hand? What's happening? Okay, that's fine. I do have a lot of cards, so I'm going to equip. So if he plays this, can always like plays it. Because if I play this, I'm fucked. I can't give him protection from blue because he does. Because he then cruise yes, cruise the chariot. I'm just going to attack with the Adorn Pouncer. Because I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna play this. And he's going to crew the chariot. And I'm gonna do this. But he doesn't die. Because he's gonna gain 4 life. Should have attacked with the Bowmat career. But now if he plays another blue creature, I might win. Yeah, there we go. He does draw a card. So 
happening. Please, no green creatures. Oh man, having the sword of body and mind will totally destroy this guy. Yeah, might as well attack, yeah. No point in keeping him back. Is he going to use the... Yeah, he's gonna use that. So, this is GG. I doubt that he has something green. And unless he has like Pact of Negation. If he has Pact, oh he doesn't. Blue. Nice. Haha. <laughs> nice. There we go, 7 wins, uh, another huge success in cube draft, I love cube draft, yeah, there we go. Like I don't know why people aren't drafting red, like red was just wide fucking open, both times we drafted it, so my, my red decks have been amazing, <laughs> everyone's drafting like control decks. Larg. What's on the bargains? Not much. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for more cube drafting. I love cube drafting. So this is a very exciting time for me. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.